Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2018 Cadillac XT5. And we're gonna do the side chrome delete, door handle, and lower chrome for the door for this vehicle. So as you can see, this is how it looks before doing the installation on the chrome panel. And this is how it looks after the installation. So we use the gloss black material, that way it matches the color of the pillars, and it also gives it a more sportier look to the vehicle. If you like the product, link for the product will be linked below. But with that being said, let's just start with the installation video. So before starting with the installation on the panel, we need to make sure we prep the panels. So to prep the panel, all you need to do is apply water and baby shampoo inside a spray bottle. Once you have your solution mixed, spray the solution onto a clean microfiber towel and just make sure you're removing all the contaminants on the entire panel. So just take your time, make sure everything's completely clean. And once you finish cleaning the panels, make sure that the panel is completely dry as well. If there's still any water residue left over, going to damage the adhesive side of the film and we want to prevent that. So we just make sure everything is clean and dry. And then once you're done with this step, we can start with the installation. So to start with the installation, we're going to start by installing the piece that goes in the front section of the chrome. So with this one, all you need to do is just align the film to the panel and just make sure when you place the film, you have enough material to cover the curved area of the panel. Once you see that you have it aligned, we can start with the rest of the installation. So make sure everything's covered and just follow the design of the panel and make your way to this side. And that's it. And now we're going to apply heat around the curve. That way we help it tack down and mold around the curve. So just grab your heat gun and apply heat around the panel to help it tack down and also around this curve here. Now, if you notice, the film has completely molded to the panel. And all we need to do now is just trim off the excess material. If you want to know where to trim with this one, find the small gap between the panel and the rubber gasket. So that's where you would trim off the excess material. And the same with this top section here. So you could create an outline. That way you have an idea of where you're going to trim. And then once you created that outline, you can go ahead and start removing the excess material. Just take your time, don't rush it until you reach it there. And you just do the same for the rest of the film. Follow the outline that was created and trim off the excess material. And then the top. And that's pretty much it. And once you're done with this one, now we can move on with the next pieces. So once you finish that section of the panel, now we can move on with the remaining four that are on the door. So when it comes to installing the pieces for the door trim here, they're all going to be the same thing. So what I mean by the same thing is the steps that we do for this one, you would just rinse and repeat for the remaining three pieces. So you would start by aligning the film on their corresponding edge. So on these two sections here and these two edges here. Once you align the film, you would just make your way across the panel align it and use the lower section of the panel as the guide to align the film so for example i'll show you right now so start here cover the chrome and just using the lower section of the chrome to align it so you just do the same step to the remaining ones you would grab your squeegee come back and remove any air bubbles that are trapped behind the film and just also help the film tack down and with this one in particular, when you have the windows down, you could tuck in the film underneath the panel here if you have enough material. So you would just have to bring the rubber gasket down and insert the film underneath the gasket. That way it looks more flush. But if you don't want to do this step, you can always trim off the excess material. So just make sure to tack down everything. So with this section, the chrome ends right on the top section here. So just bring the chrome towards the top, squeegee everything down. And then once you've tacked down the film, create an outline with your finger. That way you can come back with your new blade and trim off all this extra material we don't need. So once you create the outline, insert the blade and just follow the outline that was created. And then just take your time and you're trimming off the excess material until you reach this edge and remove the excess material here. And now we would just come back and apply heat around the panel to help the adhesive on the film act very faster and cure faster. So once you're done applying heat, you would just come and do the same steps that we did to this one. 
to the remaining three. So grab your heat gun and just apply heat all over the panel. And then once you're done, you can move on with the rest of the installation. And that's pretty much it. And then just rinse and repeat for the remaining three pieces on the door section. So now we're moving on to the last piece for the upper section of the crown panels. So with this one, same installation as how we did with the first small one. We're going to align the film to this edge first. So just be careful, place the film here. So that way it doesn't get stuck together. And just align the film right on the edge. Give yourself enough material to cover the curve. Once you have it tacked down on one side, follow the design of the panel and tack it down here. And then do the same lift here and just follow the design of the remaining panel. Place it down until you reach it to the top section here. So keep going and you should reach it up to the edge here. And if you need to readjust it, you can, just to make things a bit easier for the installation. So just like that. Once you place the film on the panel, grab your squeegee and start removing any air bubbles and bringing down the fingers that are behind the film. And now all we need to do is apply heat around the curved area. Since the film is still lifting, we need to help the film tack down around the curve and also apply heat here. And then we will just trim off excess material at the last step, that way it's not in the way. So apply heat around the curves. Once you apply heat, Come back with your squeegee and tack everything down. So if the film does get stuck on the vehicle, just lift it carefully and then bring it back down. That way you're able to have full coverage on the panel. So now that we help the film tack down around the curve, now we know what's excess material. So all we need to do now is create a small outline. That way we know where to trim and not accidentally trim off what we need. Okay, so now all we need to do is use your blade, trim off the extra material around the outline that was created, and take your time when doing this. You don't have to rush it. Lift it carefully. And if you have excess on the bottom, trim it off as well. Just be careful because this is where the paint is. So just take your time around this area. 
And you just rinse and repeat until you remove all the excess material you don't need. And now the last thing, we'll come back and apply heat just to help the film tack down around any area that's still lifting. Since we did trim off some excess material, the film will lift. So just come back and apply heat to secure it. And then once you're done with this piece, we can move on to the door handle. So when it comes to the door handles, we did not create a cutout where the button is located for the door handle. Reason being is because we want to make sure you have full coverage on the entire panel. Once you have full coverage, then you would do the small cutout for the button. So first, make sure you align it on the edge here and everything else will fall into place. You are going to have a little extra material on the curve here. That extra material we can just trim off. So once you place the film, grab your heat gun and slowly start helping the film tack down in the middle. And then we're going to make our way from the middle. So just take your time applying heat helping it tack down. Be careful not to burn your finger. And now we're working our way to the top and then work your way on the bottom. And then around the edges here, apply heat and then use your finger to help it form to the curve. And then the excess material, we will trim off. So now it's time to do the cutouts. So find the gap where the door handle is located. Take your time, insert the blade and just trim off the excess material there. And then trim off any of you have underneath. And then just come back and apply heat around the areas we trim. That way we help the film tack down. And now come to the area where the button is. Create the outline of where you're going to need your trim. You could leave it as is. The only thing if you leave it like this, the button may cause the film to lift because it moves. So if you want to avoid that, just do the cutout. That way the film doesn't lift and it stays on the actual door handle. So do it around the panel. And now the button stays tacked down and it's not going to lift if you keep pressing the button. All we need to do now is just secure it by heat. And that's pretty much it. And you would just rinse and repeat the steps that we did here for the other remaining door handles. And this one, same concept, just align it here, place it down, apply heat, and then we'll just trim off excess material. So when it comes to installing the last pieces on the lower section of the door, I recommend starting from the edge here. That way you have enough material to cover the curve. And then just follow the design of the panel on the top area here. Make sure you're covering everything. And all you need to do now is tack down the film. So apply pressure with your squeegee to remove any air bubbles that are trapped behind the film. And then just squeegee underneath as well. And then this is all excess material. We just gave it just in case you need more material to work with. But as long as you have full coverage, you should be good. Around this area, we're going to apply heat just to help the film tack down around the curve. So grab your heat gun, apply heat around this area, let it cool off, and just rinse and repeat until you see that the film has molded to the curve. And now just use your squeegee to help it tack down more better underneath. And then make an outline of where you need to trim off the excess material. So there's a gap right underneath here. That's where you would enter your blade carefully and trim off the excess material. Just take your time while you're doing this. And don't forget to trim off the excess material on the edge here. And now all we need to do is come back, apply heat, just to help tack down the film. Since we did trim off extra material, the film will tend to lift. So applying heat will just help it tack down around the curved areas that were trimmed off and on top as well. 
and you would just rinse and repeat the same steps that were done here to the rear panel here. So start on the edge, make your way to the corner edge here, align it, apply heat, and then trim off excess material and then apply heat to empty. So once you finish with the whole installation for the whole section of the side, the last thing to do is to post heat the entire panel. So to post heat, all you need to do is just grab your heat gun and start applying heat all over the panel. Just take your time when you're doing this step. That way you help the adhesive on the film cure faster. And you just go all around each section, making sure you just help apply the heat. And then once you're done with this step, you'd be done with the installation. So just make sure you take your time and doing this whole step. Thank you for choosing Bower Tech Design. As a small business, your support means everything to us. If you loved your product, please drop a review. If you have questions or issues, don't forget to message us via email. Once again, thank you so much for the support from our family to yours. So that concludes the installation video for the side crumbly for the 2018 Cadillac XT5. We hope that this video helped you guys out with the installation. If it did, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.